Hi, this is J2 here. On this video, I'll be explaining about 3D and how 3D glasses work. And then we are able to see things in its third dimension, our own two eyes. When we look at the um, object, we are able to see the front and the two sides of the object. The reason how we are able to see the front and two sides of the object is because our eyes are slightly apart from one another from two point perspective. So when we are to look at the object, we will be able to see the front and the two sides of it. And this is known as stereoscopy. Right, stereoscopy can be described as anything in its third dimension. So if I have to look at this object right here with this eye closed, I'll be able to see the front and this side of the object, but not this side of the object. And then if I have to have this eye closed and this eye open up, I'll be able to see the front of the object and this side of the object, but not this side of the object. But if I have to have both eyes open and look at the object, I'll be able to see the front and the two sides of the object. This is basically looking at object in its third dimension. And based on L. Hayseen research in 2011 on 3D TV, it showed that stereoscope was dated back in 1844 by David Brewster. Seeing things in 3D can be enhanced with 3D glasses. There are three types of 3D glasses. There are the anaglyph 3D glasses, passive polarized 3D glasses, and active shutter 3D glasses. But before I go further into explaining about how these glasses work, I want to explain how the image will look like with and without the 3D glasses. Here's the picture of how a 3D image will look like without a 3D glasses. It is distorted and blurry. The reason it looks like this is because there are two images as one image. And then with the 3D glasses, you're supposed to see something like this. It is an image of an object popping out of the screen. So basically, when this happens, you're seeing object in its third dimension. And at the same time, you're able to see behind the object. And now, I'm going back to explain how 3D glasses work. The first type of 3D glasses were the anaglyph 3D glasses, which are these right here. And these glasses were introduced in 1920 according to the Department of Information Technology 2011. And these glasses were built one side of red, blue, red, cyan, and red and green. And the reason it's built this way so that if you're using the red and blue one, the red side will filter out the red color and the blue side will filter out the blue color. So this is how it works. So here we got a picture of a person using anaglyph 3D glasses. So basically, one projector is shooting a red image to your screen, and another projector is shooting a blue image to your screen. And when the two images bounce on the screen to the person with the anaglyph 3D glasses, one of the filter, one of the eye, one of the eye filter filters out the blue color, and the other eye filter filters out the red color. One eye will be able to see one image, and the other eye will be able to see another image, which allow the brain to interpret the two images as one image and see it as a 3D image. And now to the second type of glasses, the passive polarized glasses, which are these right here. And these glasses, instead of filtering out color, it filters out light. And before I go further into explaining about how these glasses work, I want to explain about how light works. So basically, we're able to see things because of light. When light comes down from the sky or the light ball, it bounces around. And then when light bounces around and bounces to your eye, we're able to see that light and we're able to see image of it. And there's actually two types of uh, light, the one that go up and down, and there's also the one that go left and right. So basically these glasses right here, the passive polarized 3D glasses, one lens filter out one lens filter out the light that go left and right, and one lens filter out the light that go up and down. And that's how the glasses work. So this is how it works. So here we got a person using a polarized 3D glasses. So basically there's two projector, one of them is shooting vertical light image to the screen and one of them is shooting horizontal light image to the screen. And as it bounces on the screen to the person with the polarized 3D glasses, one eye filters out the horizontal light and the other eye filters out the vertical light. And then the brain will interpret these two image lights into one image and see the image as a three-dimensional image. Finally, to the third type of glasses, it is the active shutter 3D glasses, which it is this right here, hooked up to the monitor screen or computers. And these type of glasses, instead of filtering out light or color, it actually see image alternate really quick on the screen at 48 frames per second or higher, and also at the refresh rate of 120 megahertz or higher. And because it's so quick that when you look at an image without the glasses, you see as though the images are blurred or overlapping each other. But with the glasses, you'll be able to see it as a 3D image. And this is how it works. Okay, the active shutter 3D glasses have to be hooked up to either your computers, monitor, or whichever device you're using to actually display the 3D image. So basically how the way the glasses work is that when one image displays on the screen, one of the lens closes up and one lens opens up. 
And with the next image display, this lens will close up and this lens will open back up. And just keep going back and forth, back and forth like that. And that's how you'll be able to see two image as in one image and see it as a three dimensional image. Now after explaining about 3D and how 3D glasses work, you now know that you could see things in its third dimension. And with the help of Anaglyph 3D glasses, Passive Polaroid 3D glasses, and also Active Shutter 3D glasses, you can see things on the screen in its third dimension instead of its second dimension. And thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something today.